coming. Um, Book Culture is pleased to host Marceline Gluck, uh, the editor of tonight's celebrated book, World Film Locations, Boston. The World Film Location series explores and reveals the relationship between the city and cinema by using a predominantly visual approach perfectly suited to the medium of film. The city continues to play a central role in a multitude of films, helping us to frame our understanding of place and the world around us, whether as elaborate directorial love letters or as time-specific cultural settings, the city acts as a vital character in helping tell a story. Alongside brief texts about carefully chosen film scenes and insightful essays about themes, directors, and key historical periods relating to each individual city, each book is illustrated throughout with evocative movie stills, city maps, and location photographs. Boston is known for its history and its impact on the development of the United States. The city on a hill has shaped and influenced America's historical, cultural, and political landscape since its founding. Also referred to as the Athens of America, Boston boasts a high concentration of colleges and universities, witnessing the vibrancy of its intellectual culture, often central to its cinematic portrayals, including films set at Harvard and MIT, among others, which we'll discuss further. Yet, the decidedly unglamorous The Friends of Eddie Coyle, which is based on the work of a Boston writer, the late George V. Higgins, is as far from the elites as you can get. According to Monica Raish, a professor at Boston Suffolk University, in her City of the Imagination essay opening World Film Locations Boston, Boston's illustrious history has shown that dreams can become reality. The movie industry has appropriated the city and its past for approximately a century to share some of those dreams. Whether based on true events or fictional narratives, many films make good use of the role Boston locations played in American history. Thank you very much. Thank you.